A recent handover ceremony for the new St. Jude Hospital has ignited a wave of confusion, primarily fueled by criticisms from the opposition United Workers Party UWP. While the Sinusha Labour Party SLP led government celebrated the completion of construction and hosted a formal handover on Sunday, November 16th, questions have arisen regarding the hospital's operational status. Prime Minister Honorable Philip GPS sought to clarify the distinction between the handover and the ongoing commissioning process, stating that the latter is actively underway. However, the UWP has taken issue with the government's decision to hand over the facility before it is fully commissioned and operational, accusing them of making a premature announcement. Adding clarity to the situation, civil engineer John Peters, present at the handover ceremony, corroborated the Prime Minister's statements. He explained that the physical handover of the building structure is a critical precursor to the commissioning phase. So the combined period from end of construction uh, into commissioning, into transition, can take some while. Can take a, a while, and can take sometimes probably up to four to six months of that entire process, uh, depending upon the size of the facility and the extent of the transition that is required. So while there is the appearance of confusion, I think anybody who is involved in the construction industry would understand fully what is the distinction between the end of construction, the commissioning phase, and in this case where you have uh, a transition from one facility into another facility, the, that transition phase. The confusion was further amplified when the UWP mobilization officer, Nancy Charles, visited the construction site, observing workers from Moreno still present. Charles questioned the government's claims of completion, asserting that the hospital's construction was not finished. If the St. Jude's Hospital was handed over from the contractor to the Ministry of Health, which is what is being claimed, then I want to ask the question, why am I continuing to see Renault trucks and vehicles going up and down in this facility? And we know that Renault was the contractor for St. Jude's Hospital. So if that facility has been completed, why is there still construction happening? This continued presence, he clarified, is not an indication of incomplete construction, but rather a necessary step in ensuring all newly installed systems are functioning correctly. Despite the ongoing discourse, civil engineer Peters expressed optimism about the project's future. But in terms of the commission, the contractor remains involved. I mean, because what will happen is that you need to, when, when the staff of St. Jude's Hospital come across the new facility, they must be able to understand how the various plant are functioning, how the, the, uh, the, the equipment in the laundry, how they operate, how they are, they are going to be maintained, the kitchen areas, the medical, the new medical plan that is coming in, um, there is a training phase in which the various technicians will have to understand the functioning of the equipment that will be installed. Peters concluded by stating that the government has indeed fulfilled its promise regarding the building's completion. He expressed his satisfaction and anticipation for the sovereign communities finally receiving a modern and well-equipped healthcare facility. Kayla Edwin, NBC Prime.